Syncope, defined as a transient loss of consciousness due to temporary cerebral hypoperfusion, is a clinical sign that can stem from a variety of underlying mechanisms. Understanding these mechanisms is essential in distinguishing benign episodes from those signaling life-threatening conditions. Syncope falls into three primary categories, reflex syncope, orthostatic syncope, and cardiac syncope. Each type represents a unique pathophysiological process and demands a nuanced approach to diagnosis and management. Reflex syncope. Reflex syncope, also known as neurally mediated syncope, accounts for nearly half of all cases. Triggered by a reflexive response that causes vasodilation or bradycardia, this type leads to decreased cerebral perfusion. Patients often report a prodromal phase with symptoms like dizziness, lightheadedness, or visual disturbances such as tunnel vision. Episodes typically occur in upright positions, standing or sitting. And while the condition itself isn't life-threatening, injuries sustained during fainting episodes can be significant. The four subtypes of reflex syncope are vasovagal syncope, situational syncope, carotid sinus syncope, and vasodepressor syncope. Vasovagal syncope. Vasovagal syncope is often triggered by emotional stress, pain, or prolonged standing. Patients may describe prodromal symptoms like nausea or lightheadedness. Classic examples include fainting at the sight of blood or during moments of severe anxiety. Situational syncope. Situational syncope is tied to specific physiological activities such as micturition, defecation, or even swallowing. For instance, micturition syncope commonly occurs during nocturnal trips to the bathroom. Carotid sinus syncope. Carotid sinus syncope is often provoked by external pressure on the carotid artery, such as from head rotation or tight collars. Carotid sinus massage can reproduce symptoms during clinical evaluation. Vasodepressor syncope. Vasodepressor syncope is characterized by an acute drop in peripheral resistance without a compensatory increase in cardiac output. Orthostatic syncope. Orthostatic syncope arises when rapid positional changes, like moving from sitting or lying down to standing, trigger a sudden drop in blood pressure. Common in dehydrated or autonomic dysfunction patients, this type often presents as dizziness or fainting upon standing. As providers, recognizing postural hypotension during clinical assessment is key to diagnosing this condition. Cardiac syncope. Cardiac syncope is perhaps the most concerning type, stemming from conditions that impair cerebral blood flow. It has two major subcategories, arrhythmogenic syncope and structural heart disease. Arrhythmogenic syncope is caused by rhythm disturbances such as bradycardia or tachycardia. This subtype often strikes without warning and may be accompanied by palpitations. Structural heart disease include conditions like aortic stenosis or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy limit cardiac output, particularly during physical exertion, and can lead to syncope. Red flags of serious syncope. The following clinical features should immediately raise concern. A history of heart murmurs or congenital heart disease. Newly detected murmurs on physical examination. A family history of arrhythmias or sudden cardiac death. Syncope during exertion or without prodromal symptoms. Medications known to provoke arrhythmias. Episodes with accompanying hypernia or cyanosis. Physical trauma resulting from syncope. Each type of syncope demands a tailored evaluation strategy, beginning with a thorough patient history to identify the diagnostic pathway and potential triggers. A detailed physical examination provides critical insights that guide the need for further testing. While family history helps assess inherited risks such as arrhythmias or congenital heart conditions. Additionally, reviewing the patient's medications plays a pivotal role in identifying drugs that may contribute to or exacerbate syncope episodes.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.